today we're going to do an unboxing of Chancellorville 1863 from Worthington Games. Up until now, my go-to Chancellorville game was Chancellorville from Avalon Hill, the classic uh, Hex Encounter game. This is not a classic Hex Encounter game. Let's take a look at the back of the box here. Uh, Chancellorville, 1863, Lee's perfect battle because his risky decision to divide his army in the presence of a much larger enemy force resulted in a significant Confederate victory. Now that right there was a violation of one of Sun Tzu's principles in his Art of War. You don't divide your army uh, in enemy territory, especially facing a larger force. Uh, Chancellorville, 1863, is the second game in our new Battle Formation series an innovative card-driven board game on the Battle of Chancellorville's for one to two players, playable in one to two hours. The previous game in the Battle Formations was Freeman's Farm, 1777, which dealt with a portion of the Battle of uh, Saratoga during the American Revolutionary War. Uh, as you can see here, game complexity is uh, right uh, two bars up from the bottom, so not very complex. Solitaire suitability is high because there are solitaire rules that are um, contained in this game. This is a heavy box, and we'll see why. Let's get into it. Nice, sturdy box here. There we go, nice thick box from Worthington. Like the cover art there. You get your rules. Rules are 20 pages, but there's a two-player quick reference and a solitaire quick reference on the back here. You have a historical summary and designer notes. So actually, you get a solo player example of play, a two-player example of play. So really, it looks like you're talking about 16, just a little over 15 pages of rules, about 16 pages of rules. It's dual column. Uh, it's not too dense in the text, and there is color. Uh, keynotes and examples so looks pretty easy to get into here uh, really kind of like that okay so that's the rule book you get uh, look at that two rule books that's awesome I'm used to euro games where there's a different language but that's good so you can two people playing you can give out both rule books and say here read it yourself um, you have some shields here because there is uh, some hidden movement so you do have a player shield here, two-player sequence of play, combat results. So you have a few charts on here. So there is a shield there to deal with some hidden movement. And they are identical, but for the color on it. One's gray, one's a little bit of a blue. You get the board here. Ugh. Let's put that off to the side for a second. Oh, they get a nice little counter tray. Worthington's starting to do that now. These little uh, trays. It's kind of cool. Uh, you get some bags. You get some blocks. So you've got um, the uh, Confederate uh, blocks. So those are the different units in there. And, and Freeman's Farm had the same thing. I, actually, I have that on the way. I don't have Freeman's Farm. I got this first. Then you have the blocks for the Union forces on there as well and then these are uh, like markers that you use as part of the game to uh, there's kind of a um, little bit of a currency type issue of, of obtaining markers and using them to pay for certain effects on cards and you have dice and you have cards so it looks like we have two decks here looks like we have a union bot here and some of this is probably some stuff for the union there's tactic cards, Confederate reinforcements, okay, Union bot, tactics, okay. So all kinds of different cards there. Confederate bot, so there's a Union bot and a Confederate bot. That's kind of cool. I think in Freeman's only one side could be uh, the bot. I'm not sure about that. Okay, some of the cards there. Little bent. I mean, little. there's a little bit of bending there, but you know, good quality cards nonetheless. Got some more of the same here. I'll have to sort these out. Back to my old days of collecting baseball cards, having to sort stuff out. Okay. 
So, huh, let me see something here. Is that the same card that was on there? Don't like putting these things in um, wells like that. It's hard to get out, as you can see. That's my claws. Okay, good. So there are different, it looks like here. AP Hell. So that's an example of some of the cards that you get there. So there's your cards. Now let's take a look at this map here. This map is pretty cool. And it's going to have a lot of the stuff that you need for the game uh, on top of it. Here. There we go. Here's the Union side. And you're going to keep track of the strength of your Union forces here, or their, uh, I can't remember if it's their morale. Um, I can't remember what the term is. i got to read the rules. I have not played this yet, so... But they keep track. There's tracks here, so you'll use some of those cubes that are in the box for that. Got a place for your cards, uh, tactics, and then the blocks go on here. And it, it, it's somewhat of a, a pre programmed, it's not your typical hex encounter where you can move anywhere. You're going to be kind of moving to certain locations um, on, the, um, on the board. And then, of course, you have over here, you have your hidden movement. Uh, this is for the union side. Then you have your hidden movement tracked. I think this is mostly for like the solitaire game to kind of recreate the hidden movement on that. Then we can flip it over here. And this is a mounted board, which is really nice. Um, he's nice a lot. And then you have the union side. Here's Lee and Jackson, and then his uh, uh, the generals that are underneath them and keeping track of their forces. Uh, hidden movement for the south over here. And then again, the same map board the bot uh, and your draw piles over here. So that is what you get in the box of, of Chancellorville 1863, which is part of the uh, this Battle Formation series. This is the second in there. I don't know if they have a third one coming, but you know, I, I, I've, seen, I've watched a lot of videos on this. This looks interesting. I wanted to get this and then end up picking up Freeman's Farm as well because I, I kind of like this system. Plus, I like the fact that it can uh, it allows you to play uh, Solitaire, which is always a good thing in my book. Uh, and the components are great. I mean, there's uh, there's no counters in this. You know, you've got blocks, but you've got nice wooden blocks that are printed with the name of the the leaders on that so it should show union designate uh, unit designation you have nice cards um so really nice game here uh like like the quality components so looking forward to getting this to the table uh and playing it two player as well the the hidden movement aspect looks kind of interesting as far as uh, the two player as well anyway that's what you get uh hope you like this if you did please like this uh if you want to see more please subscribe um, and like to see your comments. What do you think about this? What do you think about Freeman's Farm? What do you think about this game? Uh, what do you think about the battle formation systems? Love to hear your comments. And as always, thank you for watching.